since yesterday till today, so many people have been defending uh, Pastor Paul and Nietzsche. So many people have been defending the Dunamis Gospel Center. In fact, some people went to the extent of writing me on WhatsApp, cursing me, why did you say that Pastor Nature was wrong? Were you there? Did you know how it happened? See, you don't love Pastor Nature more than me myself. I love, the, I love the man, honestly. But if we must build a better society, we must call the spade a spade. So that is what really happened. And that is why so many people who have good conscience condemn what Nietzsche did. But now I am very happy and this is how Christianity should be. And this is how life should be. I'm happy that Pastor Paul Nietzsche and Dunamis International have already reached out to the woman. And I think this is the right thing to do. Now let us go through the content of the letter that uh, the, the church wrote in regards to this testimony. And it reads, Dunamis International Gospel Center, an official statement on Miss Anim Veronica's Nena's testimony. A scenario was created on Sunday, the 14th of April, 2024, at the Gloria Dome, the global headquarters of Dunamis International Gospel Center, when Miss Anim Veronica Nena came out to testify of how God helped her graduate from the university in this way, making her the first person to attend that feed in her family. These were the immediate triggers for the said scenario. First, listening to the testifier expressions as it borders on basic spoken English conveys the impression that the minimum standard expectin expectation sorry, of a graduate, especially a graduate of law, was not met. Second, stating that she studied law for 10 years backed the question of what her degree actually was. Third, she was unable to state exactly what the correct degree was for law, which is LLB. Rather, she said it was BSc in law, which is largely unknown as a law degree in Nigeria and possibly nobody. This prompted the senior pastor, uh, Pastor Dr. Paul in nature, to stop the testimony immediately as a product of a lie. However, relief came when it was later confirmed that she actually graduated from a university. It must be pointed out clearly here that embarrassing the testifier publicly with the attendant media frizzy was never intended. Whatever happened was under the spur of the moment. The action of the senior pastor was rather based on his and the church's aversion to seeming mediocrity and any appearance of untruth. Why we remain resolute in our passion for excellence, intolerance of mediocrity and falsehood, we wish to reiterate the fact that no harm or hurt was ever intended by the senior pastor against Ms. Ayim Veronica. The senior pastor feels deeply concerned I had already reached out to her. As a commission, we regret every inconvenience hurt and embarrassment this unfortunate scenario has caused to Miss Anim Veronica Nenna. We remain committed to her physical welfare as well as her spiritual growth. God bless us all. Sylvester Edo, personal assistant and secretary to the senior pastor Dunamis International Gospel Center. Yes, this is maturity. This is how it should be. Dr. Paul Nietzsche is a good man, a very good man for that matter. So when you see someone who is good trying to make a mistake and you fold your hand because you love the person, because the person is a good man, meaning actually you don't love the person from the very first time. There is this bad mentality that we Nigerians possess and we must be able to dispossess this mentality for us to you know, be able to know what is right and what is wrong. Of course, I'm a Christian. Of course, Pastor Paul De Nature is one of my favorite pastors. I love this man so much and listen to his teaching. That does not mean that when I see my pastor going in the wrong direction, I will fold my hand because of what? We Nigerians must be able to stand to the integrity of our mind. It's not fair that if that lady uh, don't see people who come out to talk in favor of what was wrong against her, I believe the lady will now feel relieved that Pastor Nature uh, have apologized. And Pastor Nature said that he has reached out to her. So everything we close now. Nobody will talk about this from tomorrow. And when you talk about it, meaning you are a bad person, you yourself talking about it because the purpose why we started talking about this from the onset is because we want Pastor Paul in Nature to tender an apology and they have done that. Case closed. 
Everyone can make mistakes. We are all human beings. There is no one that is above mistake. Yes, according to what Pastor Paul in Nature Road, he was taking some measures to make sure to make sure that people who are coming to give, you know, fake testimonies that are not true, later they will say, church, now connive with them to do that. You know, I understand his own side of the story. That this is what he's trying to stop. You know, there is no one that is trying to say that what Paul the Nature was trying to do was not good. But there is a, you know, Paul the Nature is supposed to ask this lady question. Are you sure you are a graduate? Which could you try to ask more questions to know why? A lady is telling you that no graduate in their family. Uh, that she spent 10 years to graduate. You're supposed to know that this guy is not sound. A sound person will not graduate with 10 years after 10 years of reading law. And that is to say that the university she graduated from is not university that you can buy. Because if it is an university you can buy, she will graduate with 5-6 years that her mates are graduating with. So, everything is clear. Please, let us always call a spade a spade. And this is the problem we have also in our political space. Where we will see somebody doing the wrong thing because the person is from our tribe, we continue to support the person. And that is why Nigerians, so many blind Nigerians, are still supporting the so-called political elite who have turned this nation into prison. We must correct all these things if we really want to move forward as a nation. Thank you so much for listening. Please kindly share this video if you really love this um, data that Pastor Paul in HA wrote for me i love it and i'm saying thank you dr paul nh for hearing what the publics uh, the publics are saying the public opinion and coming to agree with us that it was a mistake so thank you so much please kindly help me to share this video god on this mountain and they are appreciative of god so your name and what god did for you praise the lord above only I want to appreciate God for my life and my family. And I want to thank God for using mommy and daddy for our sake. It all happened that uh, I was trying to school in uh, National Open University. Before I came to this dunamis, there's a lot of things that is happening in my life and my family. From my father's side and my mother's side, nobody's a graduate. They will only end up primary or secondary school. Praise the Lord. But when God remembered me, I got a job and I was, I was working and I decided to further my education. I started the school. I want to do law, law uh, program. I started 20, uh, 2014. So I continue like that and I want to thank God because during that time, I never lack of money to pay my school fees. Praise the Lord. I keep going. So the essence I go to 500 level and challenges everywhere. Problem, sickness, they afflict me with leg pain and I cannot be able to finish. My mates have finished. So the law uh, program is six years. So since I cannot be able to meet up, some of my mates finish and uh, I keep on like that. And uh, yesterday, God declared me. Well, she said that embargo was there. In the course of her program, in the course of her program, she was afflicted and it looked as though she wasn't able to, or she isn't going to finish that program, but God helped her. Yesterday, she graduated, like she said, the first person to, to bag a degree, a degree in her family. Degree in what? In what law? Law program. What's it, what's it called? What's the name of the degree? Like medicine is MBBS. Give her, give her the mic. What kind of degree is it? My medicine is MBBS. BSC, sir. BSC in law, sir. So the, the testimony is a lie. There is nothing like BSC in law. You either have LLB, LLB or BL. LLB. It's a lie. The testimony is a lie. Please go back to your seat. BSC law. Is that how lawyers speak English? Please. Please, anybody who comes to this altar to share a testimony that is not true, you do it at the risk of yourself. At the risk of yourself. We are not playing here. We are not faking anything here. When she started her testimony and she's talking law, I knew there was no, nothing like law. No matter how bad it is, it hasn't got to that level. They say you got a degree in law. What degree? PSC. 
Is there any lawyer here who has a BS in law? Lie testimony. Come to stand on the altar to tell lies in the name of testifying. Anyone who dares that you do it at your detriment, the Lord can make it alive. Come to make it look like the word, word, word of God is fake or that what God is doing is not real. You do it at the detriment of yourself.